knowing mathematics tools or software is very important in mathematics because in real life we deal with the complex problems so today we are going to look at one of these tools which is microsoft excel macros or vba uh, visual basic for applications to write a program that will be able to solve simultaneous linear equations let us start so we begin by opening our excel program when the excel is ready you go on developer make sure that your developer is installed or is activated then you go on record macros on record macros you can write the name of the thing that you'll be doing in this case we will be solving equations so i'll write that as a, my a macros name solving equations of two variables and then if you go in the visual basic for applications you can go on module one to find what we have already written there once you have opened it you can run it so let's go to the module one we'll find our macros in module one when you open that you find a title is already there we can delete that and start entering our program first i write the general form of linear equations to tell the macros that uh, these variables that or uh, these constants are integers i have to say dim a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 all these constants in my equations as integer when you write that the computer will know that uh, these values are integers whenever i enter c1 or c2 or b2 the uh, computer will interpret it as an integer and it will refuse for any other command only for integers so i write for a1 i have to make sure that i write the input the input box for a1 because um, this is where I'll be entering the values for A and the values for all constants. So we make sure we need to give the computer input box for A1. Okay, I've written already the input boxes for all constants. Here we are going to use Kramer's rule to solve this, uh, to write this program. Remember, we are solving for x and y. In Kramer's rule, you make sure you use determinants. We have to find the determinant of uh, the coefficients of x and y, and also we substitute the columns. The column for x we substitute with the c1 and c2. For y, we substitute the column for y's with the c1 and c2 and then we find the determinants determinant a which is the determinant for the coefficients of our functions and then determinant and then by Kramer's rule we'll find that x1 is the and then y we have all determinant of a y divided by determinant of a i have to make sure that i put a command for my program, I have to tell my program that if determinant of A is equal to zero, then my uh, message box should tell me that there is no solution. And then we need other message box that will give us the values for X and also another message box that will give us the value for Y. Without doing that, message box actually displays the command or the solution that you want to see after you are you are done with everything at this point so you would click and uh, run and then the run will give us the the input for a1 so in a1 we are going to put three from the first uh, equation five which is b1 c1 which is six and then a2 is 2 from the second equation 
minus 9 which is negative 9 b2 i and c2 is negative 7 we click ok we'll see that automatically the answers will come our x value is and our y value is that remember these all these are coming from the programs that we wrote in this example we are going to have um, 2x plus y is equal to 1 and another equation is x minus y is equal to 2 so our a1 is equal to 2 1 i mean sorry uh, 2 uh, b1 is 1 and uh, c1 is 1 as well we enter and then you immediately when you enter you click ok or enter after that we enter ok we have x1 uh, x value which is 1 and the y value which is negative 1 when you replace in that uh, in those two equations you see Try another ex the last example that one 3x minus for 6y is equal to 10 <coughs> minus uh, sorry negative x plus 4y is equal to 9 we enter the constants all right at this point there is no value Divi division by zero is an error in the normal sense it was supposed to give us that uh, uh, no solution but uh, it is already programmed to detect when there is a zero so we have uh, that error so this is how we write mathematics program in, uh, in macros or visual basic for application software in excel we can use this uh, program to answer a lot of questions in mathematics for this week we'll just end here thank you for watching i'm wilson Mubanga.